wouldn't forget him either if you had met him where I met him. Talking about desolation. <laughs> oh, desolation is a railroad station round about 2 a.m. on a weeknight. When you walk into desolation like that, and suddenly, out of nowhere, comes a warm song, you aren't about to forget it. This is the first time, though, that I've heard him at an airport. I know he moves along the piers. <laughs> he calls himself a journey agent, a Ulithian. Says his friends, the poets and the artists and musicians are Ulithians, too. Hey, listen. Listen to his tune calls it his duty-free gift for the traveler. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
to the 2018 graduation ceremony of Holy Savior Menard Central High School. I am Kent Milton, newly elected president of the Student Council, and I will serve as master of ceremonies this evening. The invocation will be given by Father Charlie Ray, president of Holy Savior Menard, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance led by Jordan Rose and the National Anthem led by Claire Marie Miller. Will everyone please stand? My good people, with all good celebrations, let us invoke our Lord's name, giving great praise and thanks. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Eternal Father, we give you thanks for each one of these graduates. We ask that you fill their souls with the gift of your Holy Spirit so that their knowledge would always lead them to the truth. We give you great thanks for each one of them, and we give you praise, O Lord, as we all pray together. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the We now invite the Most Reverend Bishop David P. Talley to address our graduates. Bishop Talley. Tonight is about these young men and women and that's why we're all here, to congratulate them, to rejoice in them. On Monday, I was with them at our cathedral, and I talked about two epochs, the epoch of Jesus of Nazareth, and after he left this earth in the ascension, the, the epoch of the age of the church, the age of the Spirit. And I hope that you will all listen to what Pope Benedict XVI says about your time, the age of the Spirit. Listen with your minds and your hearts. What is the meaning of Christ's ascension into heaven? It expresses our belief that in Christ, human nature, the humanity in which we all share, has entered into the inner life of God in a new and hitherto unheard of way. It means that man has found an everlasting place in God. Listen to this now. Heaven 
is not a place beyond the stars, but something much greater, something that requires far more audacity to assert. Heaven means that man and woman now have a place in God. The basis for this assertion is the interpenetration of humanity and divinity in the crucified and exalted Jesus. Christ, the man who is in God and eternally one with God, is at the same time God's abiding openness to all of human reality. Thus, Jesus himself is what we call heaven. Heaven is not a place, but a person, the person of whom God and man are forever and inseparably one. And when you and I go to heaven, that means that we're going to a person. For disciples of Menard graduating tonight, the ascension is not what we use to misinterpret it as being the temporary absence of Jesus. It means rather a definitive, irrevocable presence by participation in God's royal power. Graduates, from the second century, it says, you have a place in God. Be consoled, flesh and blood, for in Christ you have taken possession of heaven. And if this theme is true to your heart, that according to John Paul the Great, life with Christ is a wonderful adventure, know that what you begin tonight in that next chapter is immersed in the glory of God's goodness and his personal love for each of you. To begin the evening, Ms. Jessica Lemoyne, our guidance counselor, will recognize our senior, senior Beta Club members. Ms. Lemoyne. The National Beta Club is an organization for fourth through 12th grade students. Its purpose is to promote the ideals of academic achievement, character, leadership, and service among elementary and secondary school students. To be a member of the Beta Club, students must maintain a 3.3 cumulative GPA, complete with 40 hours of community service each year, and participate in at least four Beta Sponsor service projects during the year. Wearing their Beta Cords, we would like to recognize those seniors who have fulfilled their obligation as members of the Beta Club. Please stand as your name is called. Emma Armstrong. Matthew Odema. Sarah Goche. Eileen Jimenez. Alyssa Robbie. Allison Roy. Ashley Caesar. Mary Claire Upton, Madeline Verzweivelt, and Rosie Wang. Congratulations. Mr. Dwayne Lemoyne, Principal of Holy Savior Menard, will recognize our National Honor Society students. Each year, the National Honor Society honors its members with a gold card to be worn at baccalaureate and graduation. Students selected for membership in the National Honor Society are chosen based upon the qualities of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. To be recognized at graduation, 
They must remain a member of high standing by maintaining a grade point average of 3.7 or better for each year of high school and by actively taking part in the organization's service projects. Will the members of the 2017-18 National Honor Society please stand and remain standing until all names have been called. Please hold your applause until the end. Emma Armstrong, Matthew Odomar, Maddie Brinkman, Zachary Fairbanks, Justin Flynn, Sarah Gauthier, Anna Harris, Michael Herchak, Abigail Hoover, Eileen Jimenez, Anna Marie Lacombe, Michael Lombardo, Avery Long, Quentin McMickens, Rachel McMinn, Hannah Peavy, Anna Claire Polk, Jose Alec Porras, Alyssa Robbie, Allison Roy, Nicholas Sicaro, William Sadler, Madeline Soche, and Jonathan Scalfano. Congratulations. Ms. Jessica Lemoyne, along with Mr. Dwayne Lemoyne, our principal, will now recognize the honors graduates of the graduating class, Ms. Lemoyne and Mr. Lemoyne. also like to acknowledge one more National Honor Society uh, member, which would be um, Michael Upton. Thank you. <laughs> Our first group of honor students are the Providence Scholars. These students have maintained at least a 3.8 grade point average in the courses within our college prep curriculum. Please come forward as your name is called. Sarah Goche. Hannah Peavy. and Rosie Wang. Congratulations. Also, I do apologize, Mary Claire Upton. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, our next level of honor graduates are those students who have challenged themselves during high school by taking the rigorous honors curriculum. 
These Father Menard scholars are students who have maintained a grade point average of a 3.8 or above with at least 12 honors courses or have a grade point average of 3.5 or better having taken at least 15 honors courses. Will they please come forward as their names are called? Abigail Besselman. Zachary Fairbanks. Justin Flynn. Anna Harris. <laughs> Abigail Hoover. Eileen Jimenez. Anna Lacombe. Michael Lombardo. Avery Long. <laughs> Rachel McMinn. <laughs> David Miller. <laughs> Alec Horos. Juliette Rochal. John Ritchie. Nicholas Sakaro. William Sadler. Madeline Soche. Jonathan Scalfano. Lucy Steer. Sunny Tarver. Nancy Tejada.
Finn Vanderlick. Madeline Verzuavo. Jonathan Vietar. And Jordan Willis. Finally, the eight graduates wearing gold stoles are the top graduates of the 2018 senior class, known as our Bishop Greco Scholars. These students have maintained a 4.0 GPA throughout high school in the full honors curriculum. Will they please come forward as their names are called? Emma Armstrong. Matthew Odemal. Michael Herchak. Quinton McMickens. Anna Claire Polk. Alyssa Robbie. Allison Roy. Mary Claire Upton. We will now have the Bishop Greco addresses given by our Bishop Greco scholars. Welcome families and friends to the Menard class of 2018 graduation ceremony. I know that I speak for all of the graduates when I say that we are extremely grateful for your continued support throughout our education. Well seniors, we made it. The end is finally here. This journey that a lot of us have been on together since kindergarten is over and we're all about to start new journeys apart from each other for the first time. On this new adventure, we will hopefully have many successes. However, we will also have hardships and will have to make some tough decisions. I know that something I struggled with frequently during my high school career and still struggle with now is fear of failure. And I know I'm not the only one. The reality is that in the real world, we will fail. Sometimes we will choose darkness over light. Sometimes things will go wrong that we can't control. And sometimes these failures will have major consequences. However, as J.K. Rowling once said, it is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well have not lived at all, in which case you fail by default. Our lives in college and beyond will be filled with failures and mistakes, but these hardships are a part of living and a part of shaping who we really are. And I know that no matter where we go or what choices we make, we will always have our memories and foundation here to fall back on. Our grade has been through a lot, from not letting a pin drop in Mr. Wilson's seventh grade math class to, to talking to Mr. Foster about rats. <laughs> Nevertheless, our struggles and hardships have only made us stronger and closer. It's going to be strange not seeing each other every day next year, but I know that our memories here at Menard will last forever. And when we see each other again, we'll have even more experiences to share. So as Albus Dumbledore once said, let us step out into the night and pursue that flighty temptress adventure. Thank you. Life with Christ is a wonderful adventure. High school, on the other hand, has had its ups and downs. 
I know I am not the only student here who thought it would never end, but it has, and we've made it. While we have struggled together, we have also shared many great moments together. We've laughed, prayed, grieved, cried a lot. Maybe I should speak for myself on that one. But most importantly, we have grown, and for that I am most proud. The friendships I have made and the lessons I have learned are forever instilled in me. One thing that is most important to remember is that none of this would have been possible without God. While he has many exciting plans in store for us for the future, God has gotten us through the adventure that is high school. Christ has led us through the hills and valleys, and now we're at the top of the mountain, and we finally get to enjoy the view for now. A little over 15 years ago, I started my educational journey. Through the course of three different schools, the one thing that remained the same was their Christian foundation. When we started preschool, we didn't care much about the future except for what the next snack was going to be. Today, things are a little different. We are about to start the next adventure of our life. Many of us don't know what the future holds for us, but it is up it is up to us to make it count. St. John Paul II once said, life with Christ is a wonderful adventure. Thank you to our parents for making the choice to send us on this great adventure, which is the foundation of our future. We appreciate this opportunity that you have provided us and our hope is to make the same choice for the next generation. Fellow graduates, my hope is that we take what we have learned from our Catholic education friendships, values, failures, and triumphs, keep Christ close to us, and make our lives the most wonderful adventure possible. Life with Christ is a wonderful adventure, and this is no surprise for those who seek the Lord truly win a great prize, a life of peace and joy found only in the creator of the skies. And on this day we recognize that kids grow up and time sure does fly. As we leave our homes to the tune of our parents' cries, let us remember to always set our eyes on the one who took on our deserved demise so we may live with him immortalized. Congratulations, class of 2018. <laughs> this year has been quite the adventure. From the first day of senior year when we scooted to school, not knowing what this year would hold for us today, the day we have all been dreaming about since seventh grade. Being a student at Holy Savior Menard is one of the adventures in life that I will never forget. My time here has helped me come closer to Christ and has pushed me academically to learn things I never even thought of. I would like to thank the faculty and staff for helping us on our journeys to Christ and academic success. Now, classmates, we all know the infamous quote from the great principal, Dwayne Lemoyne, when it rains, you get wet. I pray we all keep this advice close to our hearts for the rest of our lives and especially through our future adventures. Thank you. When you walk into Universal Studios in Orlando, there is a large archway with these words stretched across the top. The adventure begins. Well, our adventure as a class, the class of 2018, is ending, but new ones are beginning. When I think of an adventure, I think of those movie montages that show the main character traveling across many different landscapes to reach his destination. He wipes sweat off his brow as he traverses across a burning desert. He swats bugs out of his face as he maneuvers his way through a jungle. He raises the sails and navigates an endless ocean. He trudges through snow and a deadly blizzard, and he climbs a treacherous, impossible mountain. Like the main character of the movie, 
we also have many different terrains to cross, and we will encounter obstacles in each one. Each environment requires different equipment and different knowledge to make it through. And as much as we plan, there is no way to be 100% prepared for everything. Many of us, myself included, fear the unknown. Others embrace the unknown. Regardless, we cannot be completely prepared for it all. We do not yet have the experiences or knowledge that we need to conquer certain obstacles. These diplomas are worth a lot, but at the end of the day, they do not mean that we know everything we need to know. This is a humbling fact and a scary one, but it is also liberating. We are not supposed to know everything already. We were not made to know everything. But there is someone who is already prepared for every situation and every obstacle. He is with the main character on the journey as a guide and an example. This person, Jesus, created us to rely on him. Scripture encourages us not to lean on our own understanding, but to trust the way, the truth, and the life. We do not know everything, but he does. He has already promised to be with us on the adventure, but we still have to invite him. In the adventure movie montage of your life, will you be by yourself, or will you choose to trust the guide who has already made it through and knows the way? In the words of St. Augustine, to fall in love with God is the greatest romance, to seek him the greatest adventure, to find him the greatest human achievement. Our world likes to tell us that success is defined by money, awards, intelligence, skill, appearance, and career. However, true success is found at the foot of the cross in humility and love. True success is found not when we rely on ourselves, but when we rely on the one who already knows the way. So, regardless of whether we fear the unknown or embrace it, and regardless of the terrains we are crossing, let's dive in and set sail for the adventures God has planned for us, because our adventures are just beginning. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Without a doubt, your love and support has helped us, the 2018 graduates, to make it this far on our wonderful adventure with Christ. The journey from our seats to our diplomas may be short and simple, but our journey through Menard has been much different. After all, we're proof that you don't always get exactly the senior year that you've been looking forward to. But that's okay. We've learned that life doesn't always go as planned, and I can truly say that our time at Menard has been an amazing experience. Regardless of the many changes, one thing has remained constant, Menard's foundation in Christ. I am extremely proud of my class for our accomplishment today. I know that our futures hold endless possibilities. And because of Menard's Christian roots, I know we are well equipped to face whatever life throws at us. No, we can't take Menard to college, but yes, we can take the knowledge that the best life is life with Christ. No, it's not certain where we'll end up, but yes, we can count on Christ to lead us in the right direction. With him by our side, our lives are sure to be filled with love and happiness. After the steps taken on this stage tonight, I know my class and I are ready to leap into the future. I cannot wait to see what we will accomplish, and I pray that we always remain close to each other and close to Christ. Lastly, I just want to say thank you so much, not only to God, but to Jesus. Hello, my fellow graduates and everyone else. I'm not going to begin this speech with the classic, we made it, because, well, we clearly all know that we made it by these other speeches. And honestly, why else would we all be here if we didn't? Despite our readiness to leave our home for these past few years, it has been a pretty fun ride with lots of memories and many lessons that we will carry with us for the foreseeable future. As I was thinking about our motto by St. John Paul II, I could only picture an adventure through a jungle with that one guy in front hacking away at all the foliage to make a path for the people behind to follow. I always wanted to go on one of these as a kid, 
because you could see monkeys or some cool birds or a jaguar or a boa constrictor. I was always afraid, though, that I would be the person who would become distracted by these animals and then get off the path because I would follow them from curiosity or I would run away from the dangerous ones. And then I would die in the jungle because I was lost. This image is exactly what life as a Christian is. Jesus is that guy in the front, hacking with his machete the path that he wants us to follow. There are going to be those monkeys that distract us from the path, or those snakes that scare us away from the path at times. And I think we all know that this is true by this point in our lives. We also know that if we do become lost, Jesus is still hacking away at all the foliage to make another path for us so that we can start in the right direction again. As Winston Churchill declared, Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. We have achieved a major success in our lives, graduating, but this is just the beginning. There will be failures and challenging times in our lives, but these obstacles will be but tree roots in our path, tripping us but never breaking us. We all know that we need the courage to stand up to challenges and just to everyday life to truly live as God intended. Because of our experiences here at Menard and of the unwavering love and support of our parents, family, teachers, and faculty, we have a pretty good start on that path in the jungle. And I, for one, cannot wait to continue on this wonderful adventure of life with Christ. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Ms. Amy Juno will recognize seniors who have earned special recognition by receiving advanced academic credit. Ms. Juno. Each year, many of our senior students are given the opportunity to earn advanced academic credit for college, awarded through either special testing at the university they plan to attend, dual enrollment classes, advanced placement testing, or by ACT and SAT. By their ACT, ACT and SAT. By decreasing the number of college hours a student has to complete. We are very proud of the number of graduates we have this year who have been granted this honor, and at this time, we would like to recognize them. Will the following students please stand and remain standing? Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. Students with up to 10 credit hours. Courtney Busby, Kelly Cotton, Asher Luke, Taylor Rogers, Ellie Vinson. Students with 10 to 19 credit hours, Abby Besselman, Caleb Bridges, Zachary Fairbanks, Austin Irons, Claire Marie Miller, Elizabeth Payro, Jonathan Scalfano, Ashley Caesar, and Rosie Wang. Students with 20 to 29 credit hours, Macy Cowart, Justin Flynn, Sarah Goche, Abby Hoover, David Miller, Hannah Peavy, Alec Poros, Austin Rogers, Allison Roy, Wyatt Schneider, Michael Simpson, Ann Stanley, and Madeline Verswivelt. Students with 30 to 39 credit hours, Emma Armstrong, Madison Brinkman, Anna Harris, Michael Herchak, Anna Marie Lacombe, Rachel McMinn, Anna Claire Polk, Juliette Rochelle, Lucy Steer, Sonny Tarver, Nancy Tejada, Mary Claire Upton, Ben Vanderlick, and Caitlin Walters. Students with 40 to 49 credit hours, Matthew Odemont, Eileen Jimenez, Avery Long, Quentin McMickens, Alyssa Robbie, Nicholas Sicaro, and Maddie Soche. There may be other seniors who have received or will receive advanced academic credit upon entering college, but we were unable to report this at this time. 
Please give applause for these students who have advanced to the next level. Ms. Jessica Lemoyne, our guidance counselor, will now recognize those students who have earned special recognition by being offered scholarships from various universities and other programs, as well as present the Brother Cosmos Memorial Award and the Sister Cecile Claire Vanderlick Award. Ms. Lemoyne. The high regard in which Holy Savior Menard is held by colleges and universities is evident by the awarding of scholarships and awards. Each year, the quest for scholarships has become highly competitive due, the, due to the increased emphasis on community service and leadership involvement, in addition to academic achievement. We feel it is obvious that the students here at Menard stand up well to this competition because the graduates of 2018 have been offered more than $4 million in monetary awards. Congratulations. That's not even including the TOPS awards, since those are not announced until this summer. Some of these offers will be accepted and, of course, some will be declined but it is to their credit that they are offered. The following seniors, please stand as your name is called. Hold your applause until all have been recognized. Kieran Adamson offered $12,000. Emma Armstrong offered $445,336. Matthew Odemon offered $183,400. Caleb Bridges offered $10,000. Courtney Busby offered $5,000. Kelly Cotton offered $258,000. Seth Crooks offered $1,000. Natalie Deer offered $37,279. Zachary Fairbanks offered $10,000. Justin Flynn offered $22,000. Sarah Goche offered $56,424. Anna Harris offered $500. Michael Herchak offered $38,800. Abby Hoover offered $33,200. Alyssa Robbie offered $348,000. Sunny Tarver offered $48,200. Eileen Jimenez offered $3,500. Anna Marie Lacombe offered $28,400. Avery Long offered $10,900. Asher Luke offered $1,700. Quentin McMickens offered $18,200. Rachel McMinn offered $120,000. Claire Marie Miller offered $108,300. David Miller offered $12,000. Hannah Peavy offered $1,250. Elizabeth Perro offered $3,000. Anna Claire Polk offered $26,400. Juliet Rochal offered $72,000. Jordan Rose offered $1,300. Allison Roy offered $331,800. Nicholas Saccaro offered $83,000. Jonathan Scalfano offered $7,200.
Jake Treadway offered $1,000. Wyatt Schneider offered $8,000. Michael Simpson offered $34,000. Ann Stanley offered $34,212. Lucy Steer offered $22,500. Mary Claire Upton offered $56,448. Madeline Verzweivelt offered $3,500. Yuchin Rosie Wang offered $159,300. Congratulations, seniors. The Brother Cosmos Memorial Award is given to a male athlete in honor of a previous principal, a Catholic brother who was very involved in Menard's athletic programs. The Sister Cecile Claire Vanderlick Award is given to a female in honor of Sister Cece, who, is ministered, who ministered at Holy Savior Menard for over 40 years. The Brother Cosmos Memorial Award is presented to Wyatt Schneider. The Sister C.C. Vanderlick Award is presented to Anna Harris. Ms. Charisse Reno, Senior Class Sponsor, Theater Arts Director, and Student Council Advisor, will now present the Brother Julius Science Award and the President's Volunteer Service Award. Ms. Reno. The Brother Julius Science Award was created in memory of a dear friend, counselor, and administrator of the former Menard Memorial High School. The person chosen for this award must have taken the most science courses and must have one of the highest standardized test scores in science reasoning on the ACT test. It is my great ple ple pleasure to present the Brother Julius Science Award to Matthew Odemont. The President's Volunteer Service Award is given to a student in recognition and appreciation for their commitment to strengthen our nation and communities through volunteer service. This year's recipient is Nancy Tejada. The American Legion and Provine Studios Award will be presented by Ms. Renee Hicks, our admissions director. Ms. Hicks.
The American Legion Award is based on six principles, courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service. It is given to one male and one female student who display these characteristics in their daily life, have a reverence to God, and an undying love for America. This year's recipients are Michael Herchak and Eileen, Eileen Jimenez. Provine Studios has established an award to honor Mr. and Mrs. Clarence Provine. The award is to be given each year to an outstanding senior who has succeeded academically and whom the administration of our school thinks is deserving of special recognition. The recipient of the Provine Studios Award this year is Madeline Verswivel. Mr. Thomas Rock, our, super, super, our superintendent, will now present the superintendent's award. Mr. Rock. It's my honor to present my superintendent's award to a young man who persevered and worked very hard and graduated. This year it goes to Seth Isaac Crooks. Seth. Mr. Leonard Wilson with the fourth degree Knights of Columbus will now present the Knights of Columbus Patriotic Award. Mr. Wilson. Bear with me, I'm trying to find my script. <laughs> oh, <excuse me>. Thanks. <laughs> the Knights of Columbus Patriotic Award is presented to the student who shows patriotism and willing to defend our freedom in our everyday lives. This award promotes the highest degree of citizenship and based on the principles of charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism. This year's award goes to Jacob Seeley.
Mr. David Par Perkins, our athletic director, will now recognize the LHSAA All Academic Student Athletes and present the Menard Student Athlete Awards, the Menard Ideal Athlete Awards, and the Coaches' Choice Awards. Mr. Perkins. The Louisiana High School Athletic Association All Academic Award Program recognizes the academic excellence of senior student athletes who have obtained a 4.0 grade point average. Five Holy Savior Menard seniors have achieved the rank of LHSAA Academic All State. Will the following students please stand up as your name is called? Emma Armstrong, Matthew Audemont, Quentin McMickens, Anna Claire Polk, Alyssa Robbie. Congratulations to these amazing student athletes. The U.S. Army Reserve National Scholar Athlete Award goes to an athlete who's all state, team MVP, or academic honors. The recipient of this award is female athlete Ashley Caesar. The male recipients, and we have two, Bailey Crow and Drake Carroll. The Holy Savior Menard Student Athlete Award recognizes the senior male and female athletes who manage to balance their athletic and academic pursuits. These students recognize the importance of an education and are truly student athletes. They are chosen according to their GPA as well as their athletic pursuits. The recipients of the 2018 Menard Student Athlete Awards are female student athlete, Alyssa Robbie, and male athlete Matthew Audemont. The Holy Savior Menard Coaches Choice Award recognizes the senior male and female athletes who are seen by coaches as players who are dedicated, motivated, and determined. These recipients are team players who possess a great work ethic. To sum it up, they are athletes that coaches love to coach. The two recipients of the 2018 Coaches Choice Awards are female, Allie Desitale, male, Justin Flynn.
The Holy Savior Menard ideal athlete is a student who has been a varsity level participant in at least two sports during their high school career. This athlete has also been recognized as possessing a great deal of athletic ability, character, leadership, and sportsmanship. The two recipients of the 2018 Menard Ideal Athlete Awards are female, Courtney Busby. And male, Jonathan Viator. Mr. Lemoyne will now present the I Ideal Boy and Ideal Girl Awards and read the graduation proclamation. Mr. Lemoyne. The highest awards our school offers each year at graduation are those of Ideal Girl and Ideal Boy. We consider them the most prestigious awards because the recipients are the girl and the boy we think most nearly approach the ideals of character, leadership, scholarship, and service for which our school stands. Will the 2018 Holy Savior Menard Ideal Girl and Ideal Boy please come forward? This year's Ideal Girl is Miss Alyssa Robbie. And this year's ideal boy is Mr. Matthew Odemong. It is now my privilege to read the graduation proclamation and to present the graduates to the Most Reverend David P. Talley, Bishop of the Diocese of Alexandria, who will award diplomas. Will the members of the 2018 graduating class please stand for the proclamation? As principal of Holy Savior Menard Central High School, delegated by the Most Reverend David P. Talley, Bishop of the Diocese of Alexandria, and as a designated authority recognized by the state of Louisiana, it is my pleasure to announce that the following students from Holy Savior Menard Central High School have successfully completed their courses of study as prescribed by the Office of Education of our diocese and have completed the requirements of the Louisiana Department of Education. In recognition of these accomplishments, I recommend that the students named hereafter will be granted their diplomas, along with the rights and privileges that accompany them. Will they please come forward as Mrs. Lemoyne calls their name we ask that you hold your applause until all the names have been called.
Emma Catherine Armstrong. Matthew John Odemar. Michael Robert Herchak. Quentin James McMickens. Anna Claire Hulk Alyssa Marie Robbie Allison Claire Roy Mary Claire Upton Abigail Joy Vesselman Zachary Michael Fairbanks Justin Paul Flynn Anna Catherine Harris Abigail Grace Hoover Eileen Nicole Jimenez Anna Marie Lacombe Michael Dean Lombardo Avery Claire Long Rachel Mary McMinn David Anthony Miller Jose Alejandro Porras Juliet Elizabeth Rochelle John McIntyre Ritchie Nicholas Stephen Sicaro William Brenner Sadler Madeline Grace Soche Jonathan Edward Scalfano Lucille Ann Steer Sonny Marie Tarver
Nancy Josephine Tejada. Benjamin Alfred Vanderlick. Madeline Ann Verswivel. Jonathan Michael Vietar. Jordan Lee Willis. Sarah Elizabeth Goche. Hannah Alexis Peavy. Chin Rosie Wang Kieran Emil Adamson Brooks Fitzgerald Anderson Roman Loren Armstrong Ethan Joseph Wardlaw Caleb Thomas Bridges Madison Taylor Brinkman George William Brown the third Courtney Lee Busby Anthony Bayon Drake Anthony Carroll Brandon Christopher Correll Ann Cotton Macy Morgan Cowart Seth Isaac Crooks Bailey Crow Jimmy Rose David Natalie Claire Deer Victoria Desital Madison Ann Fizel Andrew Lawrence Fontenot
Austin Wayne Irons. Margaret Ann Jones. Benjamin Asher Luke Jr. Amanda Diane Matthews. Karstens Luck McConville. show. Claire Marie Miller. Elizabeth Nualani Caro Austin Lee Rogers Taylor James Rogers Jordan Emmanuel Rose. Jacques Paul Roy. Joseph Wyatt Schneider. Jacob Brant Sealing. Ashley Margaret Caesar. Joseph Nicholas Sirio. Maria Smith Jake Grayson Treadway. Elizabeth Davis Vincent. And Caitlin Elizabeth Walters.
Congratulations, class of 2018. Would the graduating class of 2018 please stand? With great pleasure, I salute you as you transfer your tassels to reflect your new status as graduates of Holy Savior Menard Central High School. Graduates, please remain standing for special recognition from this community. We want to thank Bishop Talley, Mr. Thomas Rock, Father Charlie Ray, and Father John Wiltsey, our faculty, staff, administration, parents, and friends for your continued support of Holy Savior Menard. Will everyone please stand as Father John Wiltsey gives the benediction. Father John. We bow our heads. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Gracious and caring God, we ask your blessing to be upon these graduates as we send them forward. May they strive toward excellence in all they do, celebrate and lift up those around them, find bliss in future endeavors, and discover God in the midst of life's blessings as well as life's challenges. As you have led them in the past, lead them now into the future. Today is a gift from you. Grant grace to see it and seize it. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to present to you and to congratulate the class of 2018.